Hey, it's Crafty Kitty. I'm here to share a haul with you. Dollar Tree, Dollarama. Hopefully you can hear me. Trying to get a little closer. So first things I got were two packages of this poster board. And I have a DIY that I saw. But now i got to find the video again so I can figure out if I can do it or not. And I have these I bought from the Dollarama. I have the daisies and the other daisies from Martha Stewart. I bought two of these stickers and I think they'll work good for a pocket letter. If anybody would like to do a pocket letter exchange with me, let me know in the comments below. Um, this is going to be a fairly big haul because I just have not had the time to do this. I have been working uh, late at night and I worked all weekend long. So I got these and they were 50%, 50%, well yeah, 50%, no, they, 50 cents off, 50 cents each. I have a DIY in mind with these as well. Hopefully it will work. As you know, my DIYs, they start up in the head and then can I get them out of there? <laughs> I got these cups, our glasses, from Dollar Tree. And I have a DIY in mind for those I had seen on, I believe it is um, Grandin Road. Yes, Grandin Road. They had some of these those types of glasses with a Halloween kind of decal on it so I'm thinking maybe I can try and somehow make these um, tattoos work on the glass but I don't know if that'll happen we'll have to wait and see they might not take on glass the next thing I got was this the fog it was 250 um, I've never watched the whole movie I remember when this came out I was just a little girl and uh, well, I tried to watch it when I was a little girl, but I was too scared, so I didn't. And over the years, I've only saw bits and pieces of it. I've never seen the full movie in its entirety. So now I have it, and I'm going to sit down and watch this thing. Uh, the other thing I got was this duct tape with the spiders on it. Pretty cool. I got these bats. Again, DIYs. And then I saw this in a Dollar Tree haul, and I can't remember who did it. Unfortunately, I never seem to remember who did it. Also for the Martha Stewart stickers. Um, I was looking for some green leaves and some gold leaves that I believe it was Tina Karazin's channel. She had done a haul, and she had showed those, and I thought, I need to go check and see if I can find those, because those were awesome-looking stickers. Still haven't found them, so maybe sometime soon, but I will link that video down below so you can go or put it in the iCard or whatever, however I can manage to do this. Um, I found these. Aren't they cute? Little skeleton tea lights. Now, when they're down, I guess you're not going to see them, but they're cute as heck. I also got these for a DIY. Not for a DIY. Not these ones. Sorry. I am going to change this up though because I don't like the white. The other thing I got were these adhesive borders and they are by Martha Stewart. These and the other ones were $1.25. I don't particularly do anything for Valentine's Day but I really really like the roses. And so there's that. There's five different... Uh, borders. So there's a bunch of little mini roses. And there's this border of hearts. Hmm, come on. And it's like little miniature heart stamps. And then it's just hearts. So for about 25 that's a pretty good deal. I think anyway. So I'm gonna just hang that up as I go along. Hopefully it doesn't all fall out. <laughs> so all those so far. Now we're going to show you the rest of the Dollar Tree. 
And if I sound really tired, it's because I am really tired, but I really need to get this video done because I also have a huge, I have to do a DIY decor video for the DIY mummies challenge I accepted as well as um, the $5 Goodwill challenge as well from Hillary's channel. So I still have to do that. Anyways, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I got four of them. I think this is going to be a DIY project as well. Not because I obviously four doesn't work for my family. So I have those. I'm going to do something with them. I don't know what yet. Now I found these little green eyeballs from the Dollar Tree. Then I found these purple ones. Ooh, all the better to see you with. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, I have a DIY for those as well. Now, the funny thing is they had some Christmas stuff out at the Dollar Tree, but they didn't even have their new Halloween stuff out, so I don't know what's happening there, but it's one of these markers. I had bought some from uh, White Markers before. I don't think it was from Dollar Tree, though, and uh, they didn't work. Not at all. They were crappyola. So... I finally found this sign, the pumpkin and harvest. I'm probably going to rip it apart and do other things with this. I'm going to show you all of these because these are definitely going to be part of a DIY. So what I bought was a bunch of leaves. So I got ones with all the reds kind of in there and the greens. And then I got ones with the oranges and the yellows. And the different shades of green. So I got a whole whack of these. And I got a few more over here. And the red. So I got those. And these ones are fairly big leaves as you can see here. They're not the... I'm going to show you right now. I'll show you one. They're all roughly the same size, so that's what they look like. They're fairly big. So, I, since I have a DIY in mind for these particular leaves, and there's a 50 count in each, and so for a buck 25, that's a pretty darn tootin' good um, deal. Then I went to Dollarama, and I found... I bought one more of these. I have the acorns and the uh, pine cones inside of it. And they were $2. I wanted one more of those. But then in my merry little travels while I was there, I found these. Look at the size of these things. They're jumbo size. And they were and they were actually less. They were like $1.25. So, of course, I had to get two, three, and four. Because, again, DIY in mind. Now, I have to show you these ones now. Now, I bought the other ones at Dollarama. Then I found these ones, which are slightly smaller. They were $1.25 at Dollarama. They still kind of match with them. See? And there's a 50 count in each bag. So I got three bags. That doesn't particularly look like there's 50 in there, but I'm hoping that they're kind of joined together. So I got those. And then I got this. It's a garland. A felt garland. Let's open it up to see what it actually looks like. And I did get two of them. And they were... These were a dollar then if they have no price on them. Here we go. Here's the felt garland. See? And it's a bit of a burgundy, a brown, and an orange. Pretty cool. Just gotta pull all these things out. Not a job and a half that's gotta be, hey? <sighs> so I got all those. Now I'm gonna show you my last three favorite things unbelievable 
I was so pleased. I'll show you the one thing I really, really, really wanted. It is the rat. See? He's standing up. They found they I phoned a store just to see if they had started putting their new Halloween stuff out and see? Anyways. To see if they had their new stuff out. And so she said, well, we have boxes, but we haven't gone through them. She goes, what are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for skeleton rats. And she says, what? <laughs> I said, skeleton rats. You know, they're rats. They look like skeletons. And she says, well, I'll tell you what. I'll check the boxes and give you your number and I'll call you back. And her name is Jojo and she is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So she found me these guys and called me back. And then she really kindly put eight ah, aside for me. And I picked them all up and I was pleased as pop. Yay. Then that day after I got these, I went home and I was watching YouTube as usual. And I don't remember whose video it was again, but it was somebody in the States and, uh, they were saying, oh, look what I found. And so I was like, okay, what'd they find? And they go, oh, we found, I found these cute skulls. And I was like, oh, I want those too. Now, if you remember correctly, on one of my 31 days of Halloween last year's DIYs, I made um, a stackable of three gold skulls uh, on a candlestick. So it was just a nice stack. Well, they didn't have any other colors. Well, they had silver at that time. And so, I had mentioned this to Jojo at the time. And I said, you know, I'm also looking for these. And she says, well, I don't know if we have those yet. We have only styrofoam ones so far. I said, okay, no problem. You know, I'll just have to keep my eye out for them. And... I was sitting at my desk one day and then bam, my phone rang and it was Jojo. And she was saying, Hey, the skulls that you were looking for, are the silver and the silver one and some other one. And we got them. And I said, really? She goes, yeah. So she kindly, once again, put eight aside for me, but I went and got this. Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. I got four from another Dollar Tree, so I ended up only taking seven from JoJo. But she kindly put these aside. These are definitely going to be part of a DIY. <laughs> so I got that one. But the one I saw that I really, 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 really wanted, and I was really hoping that we got it up here because, you know, we don't always get the same things that you get down in the States, is this one. Watch out! Kind of hard to see, I know, because he's black. It's all, it's, a shade. it's awesome. It's the same skull, just a glossy black. And I think it's so awesome. So altogether, I have nine black skulls and nine silver skulls. I have amazing DIY in mind for that. But you'll have to stay tuned so you can see it. And now we are on to the very last thing that I have from Dollar Tree and Dollarama. And I have to say, I was literally watching a video of someone who had just done a Dollarama haul. I swear, her video had only been up for maybe six minutes. And I thought, Ma, I'm going to watch and see what she found. So I'm watching. I went through her entire video. She found some really cool things. I think her name was Christy Lynn. Uh, I'm going to find her channel. I'll put either an iCard or uh, in the description box her channel. But uh, she gets to her very last item, I think it was. And she says, and I was just walking around and then she found this. And I'm telling you, as soon as I saw it, I literally paused her video, got on my phone, and called, like, I don't three dollaramas 
because I'm just gonna clear this all off because this needs to be shown. Because holy free holy, I tell you. Right, you, I mean, I was happy when I found this guy. But this, this, my darlings, takes the cake. And if you can, you should run on out and see if you can find this thing. Because I'm making space here. We're going to, we're going to sneak up on you. And here he is. Woohoo! And his foot fell off. Woohoo! <laughs> well, you know, he is all, he is just bones. He has no skin on him to hold him. His wings don't move. They don't, his head does though. It tilts from side to side like this. And I think his jaw, yeah, his jaw opens. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a skeleton owl. Holy smoly. I saw these things last year, but there was no way I was paying $22 for this puppy. And actually, not a puppy. It's a, well, you know what I mean. It's an owl. And you know how much he was? Look at that. $4. And I, it took me three stores to find him, but I found him. And they said they would hold him. And I drove down there. And I got him. Well... I got him and his brother. <laughs> so, I got two of them. Is that not awesome? Cool. Yep, furries. I can't believe it. Because my Dollaramas here in my town, Quebec, have nothing. None of these. Heck. The dollar, the Dollarama where I picked these up. <laughs> was it this dollar? No, it was a different Dollarama. I went to another Dollarama. They had all their Halloween stuff up. They did not have these birds. But they had Christmas decorations out next to the Halloween stuff. I was like, um, really? Christmas? Hello? We, we didn't even hit here. How on earth? Is it possible to have Christmas decorations up? She's like, I know the girl, because there's a girl in the aisle, and I was just ch chatting with her. She's like, I know, I don't get it, but they wanted it out. We put it out. So that, my friends, is ending on this happy, happy note for me. I'm trying to think of a name for these, maybe Frick and Frack, but we shall see, because they are cool. Unless, of course, you can come up with another name for these guys. But, I'm telling you, you want to see somebody doing a happy dance at the Dollarama, that would have been me. <laughs> Anyways, I will have a huge thrift haul to share with you tomorrow. And I also have a Michaels haul to share with you. Like I said, I didn't get to do any of these videos because I was working and I can only hope that I do not have to work tomorrow night as well as all day long. So if I do have to work tomorrow night, chances are I won't be doing a video unless I feel really up to it, but we shall see. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Remember to hit the little bell so that you know when I post new videos. I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I cannot believe it, but I have passed the 1000 mark. Yay! I'm so excited. I cannot believe that I passed 1000 subscribers. That is so cool. I mean, I passed it by two people, I believe, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you all to my new, my old subscribers. And I like to say have a happy Sunday and let's all get crafty. Bye-bye.